Good morning, everyone. We are being home today. Today's Friday. We originally were supposed to go, wow, that was bright, um, to a basketball training thing this morning, and they canceled it because of the weather. It's, kind of, it's not raining here, but I guess north of us it's rainy, but it is so hot outside. It's already almost 80 degrees. Um, so I haven't been out there much today. I may go out this afternoon a little while. I wanted to talk about my latest, one of my latest videos where we went and branded our cows. I've had some people comment on how sad it was and it shouldn't be done and it's inhumane and all of those things. And um, I just wanted to make a few comments about that. I did write back to Jessica. I saw your comment, I wrote you back. Um, but I wanted to just do a little video or a little portion of a video about about branding, why we do it, what it's for, um, all of those types of things. So I had mentioned on her comment, she said she wasn't aware that branding still happened and branding still happens. I think all cattle ranchers uh, probably brand their cows because it is a way to identify who the cow belongs to. When you have a huge herd of cattle, it sometimes can be difficult to know if one's missing. If you've got a hundred cows and one goes missing, you may not notice that it's gone. But if it's missing and it has your brand on it and someone finds it in their pasture, it makes it so that you can identify whose cow it is and where it belongs and then you can get it back. Also, you know, cows are uh, grazing animals and so they are out in hundreds of acres of pasture and you can drive by and have half of your herd be clear over on the other side of the pasture and then the other part closer where you can see them or you can drive by and only see a few cows. So having the brand on them helps to identify them. It also helps when you have a cow and you go to sell it or you go to butcher it. It is a way that the um, brand inspector can tell if it really is your cow or if someone has stolen a cow and is trying to make money off of it or stolen it and trying to go have it butchered for meat. Um, before you take your cows to sell them, before you take them to be slaughtered and butchered, you have to have a brand inspection done, which means the inspector will come out and verify that the cow does belong to you and um, you are then able to go and sell it or butcher it um, and that just keeps theft from happening. It keeps people from being dishonest. Um, and it's a way to identify animals. Now the whole branding process is hard. I did comment on there that it can be sad to watch the little calves get branded. Um, and I most often, my the last few years, my job has been to give them their shots and I keep track of which calf goes to which pasture, so I let them know which direction to take the calf once it's done. Then I usually walk away. That's not always, but usually I do walk away because I don't enjoy the branding part. But it is over so quickly. I mean, it takes less than 30 seconds for them to be branded. And then they go right back to their mamas and they are completely fine after that. They don't even act like anything is wrong with them. Um, so. I just wanted to make a little comment on that while I was thinking about it and know that people who own farm animals who are ranchers and farmers, um, I think there's a misconception that they don't care about their animals and that is completely untrue. We have spent, or I know I have spent, uh, many, many cries over animals, over farm animals and I have had to help my children work through that and um, it is part of life. I see your thumb, what's the matter? Is it stuck? Yeah. Um, this is part of life and it's a lot of people's uh, well-being. They use their farm animals for their income. Um, and so they do become attached to their animals and they take care of them well and they um, are sad when they lose them. My in-laws right now, you saw the goats in the videos and they have lost um, several goats this year. I don't know how many. I know right now they have nine bottle babies because they just lost another goat. They keep getting sick for some reason and they cannot figure out why they're getting sick and it's just really discouraging and it's frustrating and and so they're having to move the goats to different pastures trying to figure out why they're getting sick and that is a hard hard thing um, because especially with animals that you use to reproduce every year. Hang on sweetheart. 
uh, you keep them year after year. Some of the cows that my in-laws have are, you know, 13, 14 years old. They've had them that long and you become attached to them. And so when you lose one or one is really sick, it's super hard. When we had goats and my goats got sick, uh, I was just a mess. It was like my kids getting sick and I just couldn't hardly stand not be out there checking on them all the time, making sure they were okay and just worried about them the whole time I was not with them, just wanting to be there to make sure they're okay. So um, farmers and ranchers do care about their animals and just like with having children, sometimes you have to do hard things. Branding is one of those hard things, but it's over so fast and it's super beneficial and helpful for the, the rancher to the cattle farmer to be able to know which cows are theirs and be able to keep track of them easier. So anyway, just a little bit about that, why we brand. Um, I could have included this with the other video. I thought I might get a little bit of a pushback or some comments about the branding video, but that is real life for us. That is part of our lives, um, part of a lot of people's lives, branding cows. The way we do it is pretty simple. We just run them through the chute, they get locked up in there. We can give them shots, brand them, uh, all of that stuff. And then other people sometimes do it differently where they will rope the calf, pull it over to where they need to go. People hold it down, they do the branding. There's a, several ways to do it. Um, the way we do it is pretty simple and easy and it's, it's, I think it's the least traumatic for the calves. So that's just a little bit about branding and uh, why we do it and how it goes. And now I apologize if I was out of focus the entire time. So it happens whenever I try to not look at the screen and I try to look into the camera, so I'm looking at you guys, then I go out of focus and I don't realize it. So I apologize if that was all out of focus. But today uh, we're cleaning. We have five days before we leave back to Colorado and we will be gone for several weeks this time. What do you need? No, not a pearl. It looks like a plastic bead out of a stuffed animal. No, it's not. I bet it is. It's not a pearl. Pearls come out of oysters. Not oysters. A sea animal. That's a plastic bead out of a stuffed animal. No, it's not. Um, so we have five days before we're leaving to go to Colorado. And we're going this time. So. In or out? Come on, quickly. Play, and you gotta shut the door when you go out, okay? We are going this time for my brother's wedding and uh, then Austin and I are going to go with his mom and dad to Mexico for his brother's graduation from the missionary training he's been doing and then just to see family and visit and hang out there. So I'm trying to get all of our stuff downstairs organized and clean out what we need to take back with us. We've got like a table down there that did not fit in this house that we need to take back and probably some other things, but it just needs a good clean and organized down there. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, this morning. It's already 11 o'clock. I slept in this morning. I was very tired from not sleeping well the night before. So actually I may eat something. I haven't eaten anything yet and I'm getting hungry. So I may do that and then go down and start to organize everything. My kitchen is a mess. I was, uh, yesterday we went to the rec center. We were there all afternoon and um, I was so exhausted by the time we got back that we did not clean up. We had popcorn and leftovers for dinner. So the kitchen's a mess this morning. But, uh, so anyway, I need to clean the kitchen up but I need to get something to eat first. I just tried to take a drink of my coffee and my hand was shaking, so I definitely need to eat something. All right, I have these. We literally have like zero leftovers in our fridge, so I have some of these uh, bacon cheeseburger meatballs I'm gonna put in my air fryer and that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm probably gonna add one of my little like uh, ham and egg and cheese cups in there for a little variety, but I gotta start these first. I put this on air fry. My controllers don't like to work every time. They go backwards and forwards, so I just have to keep turning it until it gets to where I want it to be. 
There we go. So it's on air fry right there. Come on, guys, bro. Set at 24 minutes. I don't want 24. I'm gonna go down to if I can get it to go down. We'll start at 12 since that's where it's at. And push start. These are frozen meatballs, so they may take a little longer than 12 minutes, but we'll see. I've got the temp set at 425. See how they look in 12 minutes. Okay, while my meatballs are cooking, I'm going to mix up a little bit of an Alfredo sauce. Last time I had these meatballs, they were pretty dry, and they're not super fatty. Okay. I'm gonna add all this butter. This is probably a tablespoon of butter. Let that melt. I'm gonna add this heavy whipping cream to warm up with my butter. That mom. I'm gonna let that heat up. And then I have some of this Parmesan cheese and I found it in the freezer. I'm gonna add some of that in there and put that with my meatballs. Okay, Benny's helping me make lunch. We're just gonna, we've got a few tortillas. There's not many, but there's also leftover pancakes for the kids to have. So we're gonna make a few quesadillas. For me. With what we've got here. Mom, can you try it? Yep. And Clayton's helping. <laughs> okay, Clayton. What is he doing? Lady B. What? I'm gonna put cheese on here and you spread it out, but try not to touch the pan, okay? Mama, can I do something? Yep, come over here, Betty. You can put cheese on here. I'll put cheese on it and you spread it out. Well, I no, think I have God. enough to make two quesadillas. And then there's, there's pancakes in the fridge. I'm, I'm trying to use up everything and then we're gonna, I'm gonna have to cook something, I think. Yeah. Probably for dinner, I'm gonna have to actually cook some food. Okay. Perfect. Put some on there. Spread it out. Spread it all the way to the edges. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now lay this on top of yours. Biddy, come put this on top of yours. This is mine that I'm gonna eat, okay, mommy? Okay, good job. Now just leave it sit and we'll let it, you're gonna mommy. have to share it. We're gonna cut them into pieces. Okay. To share. I'm going to Okay. And then when we flip them, we'll put some cheese underneath them. My name is Kelly Let mama see and flip them over. Oh my, oh, mine looks so good. Should we put cheese underneath it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, still. Okay, and then can I have this? I just asked that'll melt. Or then can I have this thing since Clayton got the habit? Now can I have it? There, you don't need to do anything with it. Nope. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, nope, it has to. It has to cook now. You can't mess with it. We're not messing with it. We're getting our cheese off. Hey, well, don't mess. Don't lift the thing up and down because it'll, uh, it'll make it all stuck on there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put it with the dishes, please. Thanks. Okay. 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 I am headed downstairs now. I've been down here pulling everything out of our storage area and just trying to figure out. I do plan to have a little yard sale soon when we get back from Colorado. So, 
trying to decide what I need to keep, what I need to get rid of. This is our storage area. So we've got all these shelves. This is pretty much all the storage I have in this house. And um, this is like jars and jars, more jars. There's more jars over there for canning, more jars, dehydrator. Uh, there's some school stuff and some freeze-dried food back there in that corner. And then just these are just some empty boxes that I'm keeping because I like to have some around just in case I need a box for something. Some food stuff. Um, honestly, uh, with us eating carnivore and not uh, eating any vegetables this summer, I don't know how much canning I'm going to actually do. I know the kids will be eating vegetables, but uh, my garden also is not huge, so I don't know how much we're going to have left over that I can actually can. But I am going to leave this stuff here anyway. I'm not going to take it back to Colorado, just in case. And um, now what I'm going to do is hang the stuff that's on this hanger thing. Um, onto hangers and then I'm going to start going through the kids' clothes. We just went through and organized their summer clothes and their winter clothes. I'm going to do that and try to fit stuff back over here that I need to put over here. But I'm not motivated to do this today. <laughs> I'm feeling quite lazy and tired so I'm not in the mood to really do this but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm forcing myself to get it done. So this is the all the clothing that I pulled out of this back here. I've got two suitcases which one is Merrick's the other one's ours we're gonna use in a few days so I'm leaving those out. Over there is all the shoes. Some other stuff that was back there. This is stuff that was back there which I'm not even sure what's in that box I need to look and see. Our little cooler and then this is the little blue couch which I'm gonna sell got all the rollerblades on it and those are Nerf guns so I'm trying to figure out how to organize this stuff well back here when we go to Colorado we're gonna be take excuse me taking this with us this is a coffee table that came with our dining room table it had a broken leg when we opened it so this is the leg to replace it with but there's no room in this house for this table so what we're gonna do is just take it back to Colorado and leave it in our connex for right now because we don't know where we're gonna be in the next, after being here for seminary, and maybe in the next house we will have room for it, because it is useful, it would be useful to have it. It holds the leaves of our dining room table. Um, we just don't have room for it here, so we're gonna take it, that'll make a little more space right here. These are my work gloves and I've been looking for them. Glad I found them. yard sale and fit the rest of them over there. We're going through shoes now and I'm having Carrington try on a few. If they don't fit her they're gonna get out of here because she's the littlest girl. And then Clayton's got a few and if they don't fit him they're gonna get out of here because he's the littlest guy. Biddy do those fit you or are they too little? Looks like they're too little. Can I, since they were mine, can I sell them? Yeah we'll put them in the yard sale okay. Yes, you can have the money for them. I want to eat. Oh, you can be patient. Biddy is making, or er, Kyra's making cookies. Do those fit you? Let's see what size they are. Because if they fit you, hand them to mom. Let me look at the size. If they fit you for the winter, you need to save them. Size 11. They probably won't fit you. We probably can sell them. You already wear a size 12, so. Yeah, if you're not going to wear them. Alright, for dinner tonight, 
We are having, or the kids are gonna have spaghetti. We've got some noodles, we've got some sauce, and some ground beef. Kyla's getting ready to pour the sauce in for me. And then I'm gonna cook up this uh, breakfast sausage that I have thawing in my sink. And in my refrigerator, I have some of these the egg, cheese, and meat cups that I made the other day. I'm gonna warm up a couple of those to have with some sausage. And that's gonna be our dinner for tonight. All right, we are done with dinner for the night. We're gonna go outside, hang out for a little while. I think kids are all getting their bikes out. So I think I'm gonna get my bike out. I might go for a little ride with the kids just to get some exercise today since I haven't done much of that. But thanks for hanging out with us. I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.